how are you little angels hope you're well i am well how are you doing are we together are we moving on the same pace it's your teacher announcer welcome to easy elimo learning simplified now we have been doing the place value and i remember showing you that there is something we say it's called a place value chart what is a place value chart a place value chart is a chart that has what was on this chart someone to remind me it had a name which name it had a name the place value of the numbers and we said we had ones and we had tens so when i was told to write this number on the place value chart represent 62 on a place value chart what did we say rule number 1 first identify where are the ones and where are the tens someone to remind me the song all the ones on the right hand all the tens on the left hand so we say ones tens ones tens ones tens can someone move around like that ones tens ones tens which hand represent the ones which hand represent the ones the right hand and which hand represents the tens the left hand so we are saying ones tens ones tens so when you come here you'll realize that the number that is on our right hand is the number that will appear in the ones plus value and the number that is on our left hand is the number that will appear in the tens plus value what if teacher have been given one number i have been given here three and they say represent this number in the place value chart and someone is wondering now what am i supposed to do what am i supposed to do we said where there is no number what are we supposed to do we put a zero we put a zero so that it does not confuse us so what are we writing here which number appears in the ones place value and which number appears in the tens place value we go ones tens ones tens ones tens ones tens so which number will appear in the ones place value number 3 and which number will appear in the tens place value it is the zero wow teacher what if i've been given an, a number like 10 very good simple like this using the place value chart represent that number in the place value chart these are ones tens ones are on which hand right so we say ones tens so here which number is in the ones place value the number on the right hand is 0 and which number is on the left hand the number on the left hand is a 1 so you will find i will be able to represent my numbers on a place value chart because i know the place value of those numbers what if i have been told to add using the place value chart i have been told to add 51 plus 6 using the place value chart very good i like these sums because i understand the place value chart i will draw my place value chart nicely like that mm -hmm. then i divide it into two and we are saying on the left and that is the first number you're supposed to write and on the right on the right you write ones and on the left you write tens then you ask divide put place these numbers in their place well which number is on the right hand it is a one and which number is on the left hand a five uh huh we move to the next one now this one is only one number when you say one number you add there a z a zero so you have two numbers to help you identify the number that will appear on the right hand side and the number that will appear on the left hand side and so this number is like that then i come and add nicely using my plus value chart so after that which method shall i use i can decide to use the count on so i'll put which number is the big one here we are adding ones six in my head one finger out so i say six seven so i'll get the answer there as seven then five plus a zero any number plus a zero any number plus a zero is that number 
any number plus a zero is that number and you find that five plus a zero will be five so my answer will be 57 very good and the teacher will give you a very very big tick what if i've been given a number like 64 plus 3 going downwards what did we say draw your place value table make sure you have your place value table so that it doesn't give you trouble and we said which one appears on the right hand and which word appears on the left we said one ones appear there and tens appear on the left hand so we are asking ourselves four tens and four ones and three ones will be equals to which number so put the big number in the head four in the head three fingers out so we say four five six seven so how many ones do we have i have seven ones and then i have a six we said when the number is missing put there a zero zero represents any missing number so we are saying six plus zero rule any number plus a zero is that number so what is six plus a zero six plus a zero will be equals to six so what will be our answer our answer will be 67 what if i've been given a number like 94 plus 5 someone help me out who is willing to do this yes oscar come 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 okay so what are we supposed to do first make our place value chart our place value chart is there and we are saying when you read the numbers we have the ones on the right the tens on the left so we are asking ourselves which numbers are on the left side so in this case in 94 4 is on the right side and 9 is on the left side when we come here we have only one number to help us know the one on the right write a zero before that number did i say you write a, a zero after the number no write the zero before the number so you find that you have five and zero here then you add together rule for adding five plus four big number in the head so which one is our big number in the head five in the head four fingers out we say five six seven eight nine so our big number in the head is will give us nine that is five plus four and nine plus zero will give us nine yay very good oscar you did it very well that was very nice now during your own free time i want people to practice doing this during your own free time i want people to practice adding using the place value table make sure you are drawing the place value table nicely very very well for example 55 plus 4 i want to see the place value table i have 62 plus 7 i want to see the place value table i have 81 plus six i want to see the place value table i don't want to find people make sure the numbers on the ones place value are added nicely and the numbers on the tens place value are also added nicely up to them anybody who has a question remember place value charts and place value of a number is just the place where that number should be should it be in ones or should it be in tens and we said ones are single numbers and tens are numbers that have zeros up to there any problem any question when i meet you in the next lesson i want to see all these calculated and the correct answers written it was nice having you around i hope you enjoyed the lesson have a lovely day